Hi guys, Creative Lori here, welcome. Okay, you guys, I went to the food bank. I hadn't been in two weeks. Once I couldn't make it, and then um, the next week was Cesar Chavez Day in remembrance of him, which was totally fine, but I was out of everything. Okay, I got there super late because I had to um, rescue a little bird, which it did get taken to the wildlife center. My friend took it because I couldn't drive there. It was too far, but thank God for her. Anyway. Let's get started. If you're new to my channel, I am newer to the food bank hauls. This is a major blessing. If you need it, go. Don't tell your family or friends if you think they're gonna judge you. Who cares? They're not paying your bills. If they find out, they're not paying your bills. They don't know what you owe. So they don't know what's coming in and what's going out. You don't need to explain to anybody. Also, if you want to go check out my videos from the past, I was surviving on $25 a month, so that was pretty difficult. <laughs> um, I started realizing it in July. I did $50 a month for two years, then um, almost, so a year and a half with the $25 a month. July, I was realizing I can't do this anymore. August, I was like, oh, I gotta hang in there. By October, so I guess I did it for almost two years. By October, I had to go. And it was the best decision I ever made for my father and I, who live in separate households and he's elderly. So let's get started. I got there late because I rescued the little birdie. It's fine. Um, but I got there late and maybe that's the tip. Get there late and you'll get the rest of the stuff because I feel like I, got, I get more when I go late. I went um, at the time that I would normally be leaving. So there was literally only six cars behind me. I got there and no one was after me. And then a few minutes later, and then six more cars showed up and then they, they closed the gates, but there was no one else. So they try to accommodate everyone. You guys, I got four three pound bags of sweet onions. I am so excited. You know how much I love onions, my dad and I. So I'm gonna pickle some. I'm gonna make a Scottish pie where there's only a bottom crust, not a top crust. I'm gonna figure out a way where I can make this for my dad. I don't know if onions, once they're caramelized, which I do in a crock pot now, if that's too high in sugar for him being a diabetic. I'll have to find out. But I'll pickle them, eat them raw. He can eat them raw, he can have them pickled. I don't know about the Scottish pie. I could dehydrate some too. If there's another way you can think of to do it, to make things with, like fajitas, of course, I'll freeze some, you know. There are some that I'm gonna go through, like um, this is fine, where is it? Uh, there's some little sprouted ones. I might take that out and use it right away. All right, I got six spaghetti squash, and it's from Palo Alto, which is um, near me in Northern California. I'm gonna give one to a friend. She's going on vacation. When she gets back, I'll probably give her another couple because she really loves spaghetti squash. Um, but she doesn't want to have too much food in her house. And these have to be refrigerated. So they came out of the stock freezer, I could tell. So I will refrigerate them. Lord have mercy, look what I got here. I got 14 cucumbers. I was gonna order these because on, at Target, but I couldn't afford them. Now, because these don't have a, a sticker on them, I don't know if they're organic or not. I will peel them. But how I, when I grew up, uh, my mom would make an after-school snack and she would um, slice them and then put uh, lemon juice, uh, salt, and chili flakes perfect snack to hold us over for dinner. I love that to this day. I could just eat one on its own. I'll probably peel it and just eat it with, with nothing on it as just like a cucumber. <laughs> and it's great for my salads and everything. My dad loves it the same way. We're on the same page with that. We're, I'm so excited. I called my dad immediately after. <laughs> okay, then I got a broccoli rob um thing and i'm gonna make this for my dad i'll just pre-cook it and then he can have it for the rest of next week or he can freeze it 
um, because this is really beneficial for him. And I think it's, let me see, is it organic? Uh, da, 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 da. I don't know. It's got a few yellow leaves, which is okay. Mm, it's a product of the U.S. Oops, I don't know. Um, either way, oops, I'm going to, it doesn't have to be organic with broccoli and cauliflower. So, um, which I learned from um, Flav City, Bobby Flav. And uh, you have to go check him out, you guys. Also, you can check out the Dirty Dozen list on the internet. What should be organic and doesn't have to be. It'll save you money. Um, I got some romaine hearts and they're organic. This definitely should be organic. Okay, I went to go look at Target. I couldn't afford it. And they didn't have organic anyways. They only had like shredded, you know, uh, spring mix. Um, and I just, I just couldn't afford it. It was too much money. So thank you, Lord. Thank you. Now we can have this for Easter dinner, lettuces, you know, I'm super happy. Over here, I have some potatoes. I have probably a total of 10 pounds. I don't know if they're organic. Um, this is the only one that's wrinkled a little bit, but there are a few big ones like this, and a couple of them have like uh, some little scar marks. Where are they? There's two other ones. Yeah, one like this and another one. But I'll just, um, I'm not huge into potatoes. I'm not gonna give them to my dad because he's diabetic and this is like the worst thing. So. I will offer some of them to my tenants. I will dehydrate some and I will have a baked potato with my vegetarian chili over it. Just like how the uh, reluctant V granny showed on a short. I'll link her um, info in the description box. Delicious. And that's how I like to eat potatoes because I'm not really huge on them. Or I can make french fries, but you know, I just kind of, hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I'm okay with them. I just don't like to eat a lot of potatoes and I don't like a lot of pasta either. But anyway, I got um, a head of iceberg lettuce, which is awesome because now I can use that to make a wrap for my faux tuna, which I'll, well, I'll link it in the description box, that video. Um, it's delicious, you guys. How it's the video how I saved money and that was one of my meals that I've been eating all week which is delicious and I love it. Super cheap too. Then I got another thing of cauliflower. It does not have to be organic. It has natural, I guess, antioxidants to fight off pesticides. So my dad and I will have that half as frozen and then half will make into um, buffalo vegan buffalo wings. <laughs> so you'll have to look out for that video. And I'm so excited about this because we're gonna be making some tacos. And um, I did buy some shrimp as a treat for us for Easter. So we'll be making some shrimp tacos. And they were cheaper at Walmart with all the discounts. And you had to buy online to get the discount and then apply another discount. So they were like 20% off or 25. Then you apply another 10. They were cheaper than Walmart and they were wild caught. That's a win-win for me. And I know a lot of you are not um, meaty or you're not um, like me, pescatarian. I only eat shrimp every so often. Yes, I just had it when I was sick, but on holidays or a birthday, like my dad's birthday, I might do it, but we can't afford it generally speaking. Okay. These are tomatillos, they're like green, they're green tomatoes and they grow really cute. They grow like, um, hold on. <laughs> they're so adorable how they grow. So they grow on a plant like this and they just look so cute. And this is a big one. <laughs> um, I'm gonna make salsa verde out of it for the shrimp, but you can make faux shrimp or faux fajitas or whatever you wanna call it for your tacos. And um, I'll, I'll probably, I'll try to show you how I make this. I haven't had tomatillos in a long time. This is absolutely perfect. I couldn't have asked for something better for Easter. Um, already decided that's what we're having. So this is awesome. Um, you could do tofu instead. You could do cauliflower as faux shrimp. You know what I mean? You can make it vegan. Um, just get inventive, you guys. Or if you don't have it, 
if you have a head of cauliflower, make that into like faux shrimp and with a salsa verde. And then, I said that word, salsa verde. That's how you're supposed to say it. Um, and then you could add onions, salad on the side, whatever. I do need to get some cilantro. It's the one thing we absolutely need. <laughs> so I need to get that. But I'm so excited about that. And then the, all these potatoes, which I think I'm gonna dehydrate a good chunk of them. Um, that's a good pantry item. So if you, there's another way you can think of because my dad can't eat them. So if you guys know of a different way, let me know in, if it was just gonna be me dehydrating them, um, having baked potatoes and offering them to my tenants. So if you can think of another way, please let me know in the comments below. Then I got two bananas. This one's more green and this one's not as green, but it's still on the greenish side if you can kind of see. Those will go to my dad. That's good if he eats them when they're kind of on the green side. I'm gonna give him some of these apples. I think I got one, two, three, four, five, uh, five apples. They're various types. I don't even know what they are. Maybe gala, not red delicious, but gala and something else. I don't know what that one is. Um, I got two vine ripe tomatoes, which probably should be used today. I'll make salsa with the onions and I do have some frozen jalapenos in my freezer from the food bank. I have one nice, beautiful, huge um, plum. I'll give that to my dad. It does have a little bit of wrinkly skin, but it's very firm. It's fine. Um, and then I got one, two, three, four, five, six little tangerines. I think these were from someone's yard, but they're fine. Um, and thank you to them. Got all of that, which I'm so excited. So I'll give some apples to my dad. We'll, I'll probably take the salsa over to his house, maybe include it in the uh, salsa verde that I make for our tacos on Easter. Yum. Then I got 13 of these Simply Lemonade um, drinks. They have a lot of sugar in them, so I'm going to offer them to my tenants. They're young, they're healthy. I mean, it's not gonna, they could dilute it into water and more lemons from my yard. Um, there's a lot of options for them, but I don't really wanna give these to the homeless because it's just, unless they're younger, it's just a lot of sugar. So, uh, I mean, I was amazed at how many sugar grams were in here. I think it's like 32 or something. So, um, if I'll let my tenants know how much sugar is in it. If they want to dilute it, then they can. Um, the other thing I got that my dad's going to be so excited is this applewood smoked thick cut bacon. Now, they make hot dogs and bacon, I guess. Um, there's a lot of sodium so i'm just gonna tell him like cut it in half you know just make it um just eat like maybe no more than one full strip because it's very high in sodium uh 230 sodium yeah but no carbs so i think i'm gonna tell him to cut it and then he can maybe put a total of two whole slices when he makes some a pot a crock pot of beans that'll be really good flavoring or if he wants an egg, and if he wants like half a strip or one whole strip, it's not horrible. I got from my pantry um, a carnation um, evaporated milk. That's great for the pantry. I got this chicken Caesar wrap, which will be good for one of my tenants if they want it. And a Lunchable, which my one tenant that's been here the longest loves these, so I'll give that to him for sure. <laughs> And then I got these Stacy's cinnamon sugar pita chips. I love Stacy's pita chips, but the cinnamon sugar throws me off. So I'm really gonna just keep it as like a backup for some kind of a yummy, you know, when I have a sweet tooth. But if they end up getting stale, the trick is to put them in your toaster oven and toast them. The oils reactivate and crispify them again, and they're not stale. You can try it with old tortilla chips too. And my tenants didn't believe me, but they tried it and it worked. So it was really great. I got these uh, Lando Lakes half and half um, little 
milks or half and half to put into my coffee. I've been using those, but this is a nice shelf stable item. Happy about that. I got these sweet almonds that are cinnamon, twi cinnamon twist. If I'm talking fast, I'm sorry, I had coffee. And I'm running low on memory, so I'm trying to get through this. But um, it has a lot of sugar in it. Uh, let's see, six added grams of sugar. I know you probably can't make that out. Hold on. Anyways, it's. I'm just gonna rinse them. I don't need the sugar. I'd. I'd rather just have plain almonds. But once they're wet, when I eat them, like I'll just take a little handful. I'll rinse them and then maybe I could roll them or sprinkle some more cinnamon on it if I want something like that. But honestly, after I rinse it, I'm fine with it. So if you get something like this and it has sugar on it, rinse it when you go to have it. Which I'm really excited about those. Those are expensive. I got these cookies. Now, I'm gonna freeze them. These are decadent peanut butter cookies with the Reese's, um, I guess, chips. So I'm gonna freeze them so when I have like a little moment where I'm absolutely needing some sweets, because sometimes I do crave it. I'm not huge on sweets, but I do crave something like cookies, and I'm gonna keep those for me. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> then I got six of the um, mascarpone cream cheese. Now Italian cream cheese is very different from American cream cheese. So if any of you are Italian or from Italy and you have this and you get a bulk of it, let me know if I can freeze it because I really don't know what to do. I can't finish all six of them, but they are good for my dad too. Like they're carb friendly. Um, so he can have three and I can have three, but still I don't think we're gonna get through it unless we make like a lasagna out of it maybe. But let me know in the comments if I can freeze them because I've never done that before. Then I got this uh, two good, two grams of sugar. Um, let's see, how many carbs are there? Three. It's not horrible for this whole container. Um, I think I'll give this to my dad. It's like, a, oh, it's a coconut yogurt. I think I'll give that to him plus three of these. Now this Chobani, um, Greek yogurt with mixed berry has sugars in it. So I'm going to make it into two servings. So for me, I'm just going to keep it because it's too much sugar for my dad. Then this Cool Whip. I'm pretty excited about this because I wanted to order some Cool Whip sugar free from Target, but they were out. So this is the next best, best thing because I'm making a little Easter cake that's um, diabetic friendly. This only has uh, two grams of sugar and three grams of carbs. And the cake, I mean, it's, not, it's gonna be about seven grams per slice if I add this with some blueberries, frozen blueberries. I'll show you guys that. It's not the end of the world, it's a treat. And it's better than having like a bagel, a tortilla, or something sweet like cookies from the, the bakery, you know? So I'm, I'll am i show you that when I make it. Back here, I have these lactose-free milks. Now, diabetics, it's, it's better to get the lactose-free, and it's 2%. So I'm going to freeze one of them and give one to my dad. If he, because he's not eating cereal anymore because of his diabetes, it's got 13 grams of carbs. He, I'm just gonna ask him, you know, do you drink that much milk? If he wants it, he can drink it. If not, I'll freeze both of them at a later date, but we have to get his numbers down, and that's why I'm really trying to monitor all of that. But this is everything I got. Did I, oh, did I mention this, the uh, Caesar chicken? Yeah, I did. Wow, you guys, I got so much. I can't believe it. Maybe that's the tip. Go at the end of <laughs> the, um, the, the line and get there later because they're just getting rid of stuff. That's how I feel. I mean, I tell them there's only two people in my family and this is everything I got. I'm m most happy with all of the veggies, really. And... I mean, I'm happy for the bacon for my dad, you know, and the mars mascarpone. How do you say it? I always forget. Mascarpone. 
Okay, mascarpone. Okay, happy about that for sure. All right, guys, um, I will see you all later. I will do, I might go live later tonight if I have the time. Let me know if you'd like to see it. Um, I will be uploading this video today, so hopefully you see it. I will see you all later. I'm so happy. If you need the help, go. Nobody pays your bills. Nobody, you don't have to answer to anyone. I'm a YouTuber, so I get nasty comments sometimes, but I still don't have to answer to anyone. Nobody knows what I make. Nobody knows my bills going out. If you guys knew, you'd probably wonder how I'm even making it. So I'm happy for this abundance. I don't mind sharing it. And just don't judge people because you may not know what's going on in their life. And I'm certainly, you know, I lost my, basically I lost my business during COVID. So I am so happy to receive this abundance and I'm learning how to preserve it all. All right, you guys, I will see you all later. I'll see you on Monday or I'll probably see you on a live, then another video, then on Monday for my How I Save Every Single Day. <laughs> Bye, you guys. I'll see you all soon.